Hello, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video comes from uh, places I'm going to see outside of Kanchanaburi town. I'm actually standing right above the famous river, the River Kwai, which flows through uh, the middle of town here. In fact, just downstream, uh, it changes its name when, uh, uh, where another river flows into it and then it's then called the Mae Klong. But in this video, I'm going to be exploring a few temples. I think one of them's got a cave uh, and also a dam. Another war cemetery, which is not that far away down the road here. Uh, and a few other sites, which uh, I'm just trying to think of. But anyway, let's go and explore. What's there is to see outside of town? Um, it's not that clear today, as you can probably see. You can't really see the mountains in the distance behind me. But anyway, we'll persevere and we'll get going. So uh, let's see what there is to do. Okay, so our first stop is at this uh, war cemetery called Chong Kai, and it's actually located on the site of a POW camp where the POWs not only helped to build the bridge on the River Kwai, but they also uh, cut through a cutting that's uh, just further along from here, which we'll visit in a second. But I'll put some details up on the screen of how many are buried here and what nationalities they are. So just along here, or should I say just up there, is a temple which we'll visit next. So we've just gone up the hill from the cutting and we're at this temple. There's the temple, which has got a cave, which is somewhere along here.
So part of this temple, in fact, a couple of um, nice cafes overlooks the river here. And you can see there's quite a lot of pollution today. This is sort of middish March and there's the railway line. So just down there is where we walked through the cutting. Oh. I just climbed up to the top of the hill where there's a stupa and right on cue here comes the train Good timing. So where we were in the cave is in this hill here. So this is a huge rain tree. They also call it a, a monkey pod tree. And it's uh, quite a star attraction here, just outside uh, Kanchanaberry. And it's said to be over a hundred years old. And the diameter of it is meant to be 52 meters and a height of 20 meters. Absolutely huge thing this is. It's good that we've got people in the way here, so you can see the uh, sheer scale of this thing. I know things grow really, really quickly here. A hundred years for a tree isn't that uh, old really, I look at the size of it, massive. the giant rain tree or monkey pod tree <laughs> we got some goats and along the way um, to here I passed by a whole load of horses there must have been over a hundred horses and apparently they're um, retired they're in a retirement home <laughs> one's just, one goat's just trying to get on my, my foot So the next stop is up there to a temple. I think there's a, another cave up there as well.
so along the road uh, by the river and sandwiched in between the river and these hills are several of these uh, Chinese cemeteries very big must be all to do with Feng Shui okay this is another cave temple this is called Wat Ban Tam and as you can see <laughs> it's got just one or two steps all the way up to that sort of dragon looking creature all the way up there and I think it goes even beyond that I think you actually walk inside climb up even more steps <sighs> and it's like 40 degrees and it's humid as well as being hot <laughs> a few minutes later so we've reached the mouth of the dragon And it's, at least it's in the shade, this section, but uh, needs some air um, through, through draft kind of thing as well to keep it cooler. Okay, so we've reached the top of the, uh, the dragon. However, I'll just pan around. This is where you exit the dragon. That's not the top. There's more steps. Uh. <laughs> There's more steps all the way up there. Okay, so we've reached the top. And this is the beautiful cave, a wonderful um, Buddha statue here, housed in its own small pavilion. I'm currently inside Mina Cafe, which is one of a few cafes on the canal road that we were just following along. And all of them offer an amazing view of our next destination, which is this incredible temple. And it's really one of the things to see in Kanjanaburi province. So we'll be visiting that very, very shortly. What of you? So not quite as many steps as the previous uh, temple. Still quite a lot. <laughs> and my legs are shaking after walking down the previous set. Uh, a little longer than a few minutes later. So the main feature of this temple, other than it being on a small hill surrounded by flat land, is this statue that unfortunately they're doing some renovation on it and it's all enclosed in scaffolding. But I'll show you a picture of uh, how it used to look like without all the scaffolding on it. But it was um, I think built in 1973 and I'll put the measurements up on the screen but it's enclosed in this sort of brick and tiled um, shelter and then we've got some other temple buildings on top of here look. It's 
some very ornate buildings up here. Okay, so right next door to uh, where we were, we have this uh, Chinese style temple. I think it's actually um, a Vietnamese temple. But it doesn't look like it's really open. There's nobody here. I'll see if I can look around. So this is the uh, Meiklong Dam and it was built in 1970 to regulate the flow of water coming from the river and it's 150 metres long and 40 metres high. And apparently there's a network of canals that stream off this, so it's almost like a barrage and apparently the uh, canals can um, help irrigate six other provinces from here. And that's where I'm going to leave off this video for now. If you like it then uh, give me a big thumbs up and why not subscribe to my channel down below. Until the next video, see you later.